Stuck at home? Make the most of the internet with NordVPN. As you're trying out new apps to save you from boredom, NordVPN will make sure that your data is always protected. And you can still travel, well, virtually, by connecting to VPN servers in almost 60 countries. Up for a new gaming challenge? Make sure that cyber threats don't get in your way. Feeling curious? Access the news from all over the world firsthand. NordVPN, online security starts with a click. Today's episode is called, All Sales Final. Kate ends up trying to balance the Elliot's budget when they buy a sofa that's too big for their living room, and can't return it. The gang sings Shine On, Harvest Moon at the end, whilst in the baggage car of the train. Original air date, December 30th, 1967. To the junction. Forget about your cares, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of curves, you bet. And even more when you get to the junction. Petticoat Junction. There's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the junction. It is run by Kate, come and be her guest at the junction. And that's Uncle Joe, he's a moving kind of slow at the junction. Petticoat Junction. Drawn. My account can't be overdrawn. Look, I ought to know I'm the only one who writes checks on it. Except, of course, for my wife, and I know darn well that she wouldn't do. Oh? Well, she did, huh? Oh, well, thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> What is it, dear? Some problem? That was the bank. It was? How are they? Fine. They wanted to congratulate you. For what? For winning. It seems that you got to the takeout window before I got to the put-in. <laughs> Put it there, champ. Uh, no, you'll squeeze. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Anyhow, how could you be overdrawn? You got a $100 bonus for Mr. Kiley. I haven't put that in yet. Oh, that's how you could be overdrawn. That's right. Um, uh, do we have to discuss this now? This is not a discussion. I simply want to make a proposition. Oh? Mm hmm. I'd like to make this a fair race. What do you mean? Well, since you're so much better at spending than I am at earning. Steve! I feel that I'm entitled to a handicap. So you don't spend anything for a month. And that'll give me a chance to catch up, okay? Well. Good. Then it'll be out of the starting gate together. Uh, wait a minute. What am I promising now? I won't spend anything more, right? Right. As of this minute? As of this minute. Okay, that's all. I just wanted to make sure I knew the ground rules. You know. And now, if you excuse me, I've got to go out and earn some of that stuff to put in the, uh, put in. <laughs> oh, how does it look? Competitor smooching. Not when the race was fixed. <laughs> And are you sure you got everything you need? Has to be. I've just been cut off. Didn't you hear? Oh, your credit's always good with me. I know. But this is really all for now. Okay. Honey? Hmm? What did you mean when you said to Steve that you weren't going to spend any more? That's what he wanted. You're welcome. You used just those words and just that inflection. Gosh, I'm sure glad he doesn't pick up things like you do. Well, honey, he's only been around you for a little while. I'm a lifetime bet. <laughs> Come on, what is it? Well, I did buy a little something that I didn't think it would be too wise to mention at that moment. A little something? Well, not real little. It's... Come on, I want you to see it. Where is it, dear? 
Oh, no. Not, not this. Sure. Well, what do you think of it? Well, it's uh, that certainly dresses up the baggage car. You like it, don't you? Oh, of course, dear. Of course. But, uh, your little house? Uh-huh. Oh, I know it's a little big, but... A little big? Well, <laughs> I'm not so sure that the house couldn't fit in it. <laughs> oh, Mom, I've always heard where guys love big sofas. And it's for such a great bargain. Only $100 at Agnes. Oh, bad day at the takeout window. Steve doesn't know about this, huh? Not yet. When do you intend telling him? Well, uh, first, uh, I was trying to think of how to tell him. And I have a wonderful idea. Oh? I think it would be great if somebody who knows him... Someone he respects and who's reliable uh, came up to him and said, Say, Steve, you lucky dog, I see where your clever little wife has just made a sensational deal on a terrific sofa. <laughs> That's what you thought somebody could say, huh? Uh-huh. You know, uh, just sort of work it into the conversation. The answer's no. But, Mom... This is strictly between you and Steve. Just leave me out of it. I was afraid of that. Well, I guess I'll just have to wait till the right time and tell him myself. Betty Jo, the right time? Uh -huh. Well, don't you think the subject might come up when he sees this thing in the living room? <laughs> well, I've got to deal with Lloyd. He's going to keep it here in the baggage cars while I need it. <laughs> Maybe tonight will be the right time. Maybe. <laughs> Well, what have we got here? Like it? I'll say. It's a big improvement over the sweatshirt and jeans. Mmm, <laughs> you smell good. Well, I should hope so. After all, you've been smelling insecticide all day. <laughs> right here. I want to talk to you about something. Okay, let me clean up first. Okay. Uh, don't go away. I won't. See you. See? <laughs> telling me what that forest of lingerie is doing in the bathroom? Uh, well, I, I guess I did hang up a few things in there. You guess it? Betty Jo, there's something you should know. When a broom has a shower and a bathtub, it is not a closet. Well, you don't have to make such a big deal out of it. I mean, you didn't get hurt in there. Well, I could have, but something snapped at me. <laughs> Deliver that to Betty Joe. I ain't sure I'll be doing this lifty stuff. You know, I gotta watch my double detached lift this. How come your double detached disc never hurt you when we go fish? It does, Floyd. But out of fairness to you, do I moan and groan in agony and scare the fish away? That's very thoughtful of you, Joe. But let's get this sofa out of here. we take a breather every two steps? Well, that's how often I breathe. <laughs> oh, come on, Joe. i got a schedule to keep. Okay, okay. That's good. <laughs> what do you mean, that's good? we still got two feet out here. We ain't got any feet in here. We're flush up against the wall. Oh, no. Now, now, relax. I'll think of something. You got a stall? Joe, hi. Well, 
I see you cleared things up with Steve. Uh, not exactly. I thought if I put it in the house and he saw how nice it looked... Yes, then he'd go for it. You know that's possible. <laughs> well, go ahead, boys. Don't mind me. Uh, Mom, that's as far as it'll go. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh it, it is. It seems bound to notice it doesn't fit. Yeah, he's a pretty sharp fella. <laughs> what am I going to do? Well, I'd say that this calls for a shorter sofa or a longer house. That's what I said. Kick out the wall and... Oh, no, Steve would never stand for that. Oh, he loves this place just the way it is. Well, then I guess you'll just have to take the sofa back. Which is the one thing I can't do. Why not? The man said no refund. Oh, they all say that. He meant it. They mean it. You wouldn't stand still for a thing like that, would you, Kate? Matter of fact, I wouldn't. Oh, thanks, Mom. You're terrific. What? Oh, I would never get by with taking it back. But you'll know just what to say. I can always count on you, can I, Mom? Oh, yeah, you can count on me. Me and my big, fat mouth. <laughs> well, boys, let's take her back to the cannonball. <laughs> Uncle Joe, I think it's the other side. <laughs> Lame flip disc can slip around, you know. Oh, come on. Bring something back? You, oh, you'll have to talk to Mr. Agnew about that. In this way, please. Yes. <laughs> uh, I, I was just noticing your signs. Yes, we have a policy of no refunds. May I help you? Well, that's a very good policy. Um, but you know the old saying, <laughs> rules are made to be broken? We don't say that here. We <laughs> don't say that here. Well, in this particular case, I would like to return a sofa. We don't take things back. You don't seem to understand that. But you see, this sofa is something that we're... In, is the... Sofa model 62A, $100. Oh, you got a bargain. This is the long one. Yeah, I know. I mean, the real long one. I know. But, but, but that's the problem. See, it's too long. Want to buy a short one? No. I just want a refund on that one. I'm sorry, our policy is ironclad. Not even if we take less than we paid for it? Less. Say, $90? Well, you say, rules are made to be broken. Sign here. Hi, Sam. Oh, hi, Steve. Uh, Sam, I'd like to apologize for yesterday morning. Apologize for what? Well, for that little spat that Betty Joe and I had. Oh, that. Forget it. I didn't pay one bit of attention to that. Good. Not one bit. Good. Tell me, is Betty Joe really overdrawn at the bank? <laughs> Hey, Sam. Where's the yellow section of this phone book? Oh, I tore it out for ready reference. <laughs> this is the entire yellow section? Well, it covers both sides. <laughs> what are you looking for? Maybe I could help you. Well, you know how Betty Joe and I love to sing? Yeah? Well, I thought I'd surprise her by buying her a piano. A piano? Oh, no wonder you were sore about her being overdrawn at the bank. <laughs> I, I, I mean, a piano would be a wonderful surprise for her. Say, Agnew's Furniture Store's having quite a sale. Really? Well, thanks. That's a good tip. Oh, I uh, see. Say, I don't know if you thought about it or not, but that piano is kind of large. And that house you got is kind of small. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. You wouldn't want the piano shaking out in the front porch. No, I wouldn't want that. Well, I better go home and do some measuring. Yeah, because if you don't, you might be singing in the rain and really mean it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sal, with that sparkling wit, I don't know what you're doing messing with these bees. <laughs> what are you doing? A measuring house. Well, it just occurred to me that, that we never measured our house. And what would you say if someone came up to you and said, uh, 
How big is your house? Small. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Oh, but it's very nice. Perfect, really. You like it the way it is, huh? Oh, yes, I... Why? Well, uh, I was going to ask you something, but... Uh, uh, you'd never go for it. What is it? Well, what's the difference? The way you feel about the house, you'd never go for it. Steve? All right. I was going to ask you about maybe knocking out this wall here, see? And then over here we could put in a... I'll go for it. Huh? Oh, darling, I think it's a wonderful idea. <laughs> Well, how did I win that one so easy? Oh, sorry, that bad news. Maybe the sofa will still be there. Mm. Yeah, I, I suppose so. Please, Mom, you don't mind, do you? I've just got my heart set on that. No, I don't mind, I don't mind. Hello there. You made a deal. Yes, well, I've come to make another deal. Uh, I want to buy the sofa after all. Well, I don't understand. You do? No. You still have it? Oh, yes, indeed. Well, then, here. Cash on the line, just like your sign says. <laughs> there we go. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. Now, where's the sofa? You're $10 short. <laughs> the what? The price is $100. It's the long one, you know. I know, I know, but you only paid me $90. Don't you want me to make a profit? Oh, yes. We're not even supposed to give refunds. See? But I am not refunding. I'm buying. I'm selling. $100. Oh, gee, thanks, Mom. You're terrific. Oh, that's okay. Anything for you, kid. Uh, how's the remodeling job coming? Steve's got the wall knocked out. I'm keeping the sofa on the train till the work's done. Hey, Billy Joe, guess what we found out? We know why Steve's remodeling the house. Mr. Drucker let it slip. Well, what is it? Steve is going to surprise Betty Joe with a piano. A piano? Isn't that great? That's why he's enlarging the house. Oh, and I had to go and ruin a surprise by buying a sofa. Oh, Mom. <laughs> Again? Oh, no. Oh, but, Mom, you can do it. You're used to dealing with him. Boy, am I used to dealing with him. Aren't you a familiar sight? I brought the sofa back. Oh? But it's hardly used. We didn't even take it off the train. Oh, very well. Twenty, sixty, eighty, ninety dollars. But I paid you a hundred. You still don't understand how I do business, do you? Never mind. I'm beginning to. <laughs> How's the remodeling coming? Great. I'm all ready for the plaster. I sure would have liked to help you, but you know my double detached slip disc. It really bothers you a lot, huh? Well, if you'd have been hauling this big, long, long sofa back and forth. <laughs> what sofa? Oh, nothing. Forget it. I wasn't supposed to tell you. You wouldn't be interested. Are you kidding? After all that, I'm dying to know. Come on, give. Well, don't say that I told you. But Betty Jo had a big surprise for you. Surprise? A nice, big, long sofa. Really? Well, how would she think that a big, long sofa would fit in the... <laughs> so that's how I won that argument to remark. <laughs> uh, where's the sofa now? We don't have to worry about it. Kate made the guy take it back. But I don't want her to have to take it back. Here, finish this up like a good guy, will you? <laughs> oh, please. You can get it back, can't you? I'll give it the piano. Steve, what you don't realize... All is I know is if it's what'll make Betty Jo happy, then it's what I want to. Oh, Mom, isn't that a beautiful gesture? It restores my faith in husbandry. Hi. Hello, hello, hello. And shall I guess while you're here, I hope? Oh, wait a minute. I don't like telling you I may close the rest of this store and deal exclusively in this one item. <laughs> and you'll be my only customer. <laughs> oh, no, dear. 
seen that someplace before. Well, in fact, this just leave Dr. Quadruple to tag. There you are, Floyd. Kate, you know me. I'm a very patient man. And this business of lugging this sofa back and forth is from wearing us down to a frazzle. Well, I am with Floyd. And before we make one more move, let's have a meeting of the minds, if there's any minds left, and get this thing straightened out once and for all. Betty Joe and Steve? Yes, Uncle Joe? You agree this sofa should go on the train and back up to your place? Yes. Yes. Okay, now we got that settled. The piano comes off the train so he can go back to the store, right? Yes. Right. Okay. Just so we understand each other. Come on, man. Let's go. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. I've changed my mind. Uh-huh. I think I'd rather have the piano than the sofa. Uh-huh. Benny Joe, what are you talking about? A home isn't a home without a piano. But the soap is more practical. But music is something we both enjoy. I realize that, but the soap is something we can use right now. Well, then why did you go ahead and buy the piano? Honey. I think this calls for a cool and off period before they make a decision. So why don't you, um... Would you just listen to me for one minute? That's a good idea. I'm going to be I do my part to see. It rained all night and day. I left the weather. It was dry. The sun's so hot. I rose to dance. Susanna, don't you cry. Oh, Susanna, oh, don't you cry for me. I'm going to be a man. I'm going to be a man. I'm going to be a man. Oh, Susanna, oh, don't you cry for me. I'm going to be a man. Oh, Floyd, sorry you missed out on the singing. Oh, that's all right. I brought my own music. <laughs> Gotta watch it, though. It comes out so beautiful it loves me to sleep at the throttle. <laughs> well, kids, what'll it be? The piano or the sofa? Well, golly, Mom, they go together so well. I wish we could keep them both. Steve? Well, Okay. I'll race you to the put-in window. Thank you. 